What's going on guys? So the latest release in the Sosai Shoujo Teien line here is the Maroka Yuki summer uniform version. So she was the original character to come out in the line, but that was in her winter school uniform. Now she's in her summer school uniform. And so that's going to be the main difference with the kit, but we'll go ahead and take a look at everything in today's review. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off taking a look at the box art once again, we've got a beautiful illustration here for the front of the box. It's keeping in line with the style of the previous releases in the series. It's just a very nice character illustration here for the front. Other cool things to appreciate about the box is the character's signature on there and then also the fact that the boxes are in a matte finish rather than glossy so they're just really satisfying. On the end of the box there just have the same image as what's on the front, 1 10th scale full action plastic model kit. The artwork on the sides of the box is also in a vertical format so there's the character illustration and a photograph of the built and painted kit. Moving down here we've got a look at the face option parts with this set and of course it's going to be compatible with the other ones in the line and then the skirt parts and then some other optional accessories that are available from some of the accessory sets there. On the other side of the box there's what the kit is going to look like just built up completely unpainted. It looks very nice and then once again your face option parts there in the photograph and some of the water slide decals that we're going to have included once we get this opened up. Blizz price here on the box is for 6,000 yen and with that we can go ahead and get this box open. All right, there is our puzzle piece shaped base plate. We'll get to that and all of the parts here in just a moment. Obviously it's going to be recycling parts from the original release but there'll be some new parts in there as well. The instruction manual is just going to be featuring the artwork from the front of the box, the back side, just the logo there. Looks like we have a separate page included in here which is our parts list and it's all in color so I'm guessing that there was maybe an amendment that needed to be made to the parts list or something like that but there's a look at all of your parts and everything included. The inside of the manual here features once again some more photographs of the kit as well as images of the character, illustrations of the character, information about the character, decal arranging here, giving you some different artwork over on the next page, and about the school uniform and accessories, things like that. Most of the manual here is just going through the construction of the kit, how to use with some of the different accessories and things like that. The last page features the original color simulation here, which again is really nice that they give you this for if you wanted to customize the color scheme for this, you can just scan this or just take a picture with your phone or something, get it into your computer, go into Photoshop and you can fill in the colors with different colors or patterns, something that you might want to just try out for some custom colors, and you can put your color swatches down here at the bottom so that's a really cool little reference thing available for you there. Down here just showing off how the faces are obviously going to be compatible with the winter uniform version of the kit, the first release out in the line. And then on the next page here is our color guide right there for you and again the decal guide right there which is mostly just for the eyes. So first up here's a look at the water slide decal sheet, mostly going to be eyes but then you have some other different markings that go around on like the clothing, little striping bits for her school uniform. Here's our pre-painted faces. As always, the quality of these looks fantastic and we'll see how these look on the kit here in just a few moments. Some of our other separated pre-painted parts here include parts for the pants, both the sitting and standing versions of those, and some pre-painted color parts there for the uniform, just uh, dark navy parts there with some white pre-painting little striping bits on there. Here's all our hand parts in molded in flesh tone color. So you got open hands, pointing fingers, and then basically just a bunch of different type of holding hands for holding onto different type of objects. I'm gonna go through the runners a little bit differently just basically by color. So these are all of our skin tone parts. Runner P, we got two of those for your wrist joints basically. Runner I is gonna be for face parts that are not pre-printed. So in case you wanted to just custom paint yourself. Runner G, some leg parts. Runner E, some joint parts, and then runner J, some more limb parts there. Runners A, B, C, D, and H are all in dark brown for all of our dark brown colored hair parts. So you've got lots of different hair options here with this one. Runners K and L are gonna be in white for some more parts of the uniform. Runner M is gonna be in dark blue for your skirt option pieces. Runner O is going to be in kind of a pale blue color for your school bag. Runner P is an interesting clear blue color there for this like scrunchie. Runner N is a couple of pieces here in red for the necktie part. Runner F is in a dark brown but different from the hair color dark brown. These are for the shoe parts there obviously. 
Burnt Tea is our parts for the phone, interestingly in pink this time rather than white with the original release, which is nice. It makes the details a little bit easier to see at least because they are actually detailed on there. So it's going to be, again, hard to see, but it's cool that we have two of those. And then we're U and O are going to be parts for the base, which is in a very nice kind of peach color. And all right guys, here's the kit all built up. Obviously gonna be mostly the same and we'll get into all the accessories and everything here in just a second. But obviously the new version of the uniform does look very nice. You have that really nice pre-printing of the lines around on the details on the shirt and all the details around on the kit from the more satiny finish there on the skirt parts and the way that that looks natural. The details in the hair parts and of course the very nice pre-printed faces look very good. So let's go ahead and check out all the accessories. So on the topic of the face and hair parts, here's our first option, which is just the single ponytail there and that face that I've just gone ahead and used with that head for the time being but again the really nice thing about these kits is that you can make full heads so instead of just swapping hair parts you can actually swap the whole heads only if you wanted to swap the faces you're gonna have to take things apart but here is the pigtails version with that face option and then just a regular long hair and that very happy face option again really nice details with those little bits of hair just like strands going out there and our fourth face option is going to be your crying face there again just the printing on those just looks fantastic though you do also have versions of the bangs parts which have little notches here in the side and that's for if you have the glasses set so if you have those glasses as the option parts set you can use those with the hair with this kit i'm not going to be displaying that for now though so I just left those off here's our two phones which I want to show you really up close because they're tiny but they do have some really interesting detail on here on the back they're the same but on the front they're slightly different you can see this one here is perfectly flat where this one is a little bit indented here on the front so if you wanted to add like a piece of film or a sticker or something like that onto there you could do so and it's a, like a little bit uh, lowered that detail inside there where this one's just perfectly flat. So kind of interesting, very slight difference between the two. We have, of course, our bag, which is nicely detailed, but obviously just missing in any sort of like m other colors or anything for it, or just adding some charm. I think for a high school student girl's bag, obviously it needs like some keychains or something on there, which would be cool as like an option set or something like that, some option parts that you could use with this as it is though, it's just very simple. You have your plethora of many different hand parts for holding various things, various accessories, or just open hands, or just kind of not exactly closed fists, but just slightly closed hands. You actually don't have like a straight up closed, like clenched fist in here, interestingly. You have your optional skirt part for like a version of it as it's blowing in the wind, and basically all you do to switch the skirt parts is just pull the part apart, separate the top and bottom, swap the skirt, plug that back in, and there's your skirt blowing in the wind option there. I don't know if that necessarily there's a front or back, but switched around the opposite way will look like that. So you have some options with that. And then we have our optional hips and skirt part here for sitting. So the skirt comes pre-molded like that to look like she's actually sitting, in which case you have to swap out the legs here at the knee and then just replace the skirt there as normal. So that's for if you want to have her sitting on something which doesn't come with anything to sit on. So you just have to use this in conjunction with, you know, some other detail set or option set or something like that. There's an option set for a chair or you can just have her sitting on the edge of your bookshelf or desk or whatever is another option, of course, too. But you also have an optional body piece, which isn't going to look all that different. But the difference with this is that the connection is at an angle here and the head is also at an angle here. So this is going to actually give you the appearance of bowing, sort of. So it's going to look like that for, again, if you wanted to bow or just doing like sort of a bending over pose, like looking at something or however you might want to use that. If you try to stand or like straight up using this part, it's going to look a bit odd like she just has like really terrible posture this being a new section for this kit is pretty nice just gives you a little bit more options with uh, giving you a little bit different kind of pose there and then of course we've got our base piece which is just on a ball joint there at the bottom and then you've got a ball joint here at the top and also a couple of adapter pieces that you can use with this as well for if you need like a little bit longer connection or a little bit different angle connection you can use one of these pieces here for that, something like one of these. But anyway, so it's a very nice base, very simple, but works really well. And I should also not forget to mention that you have alternate pieces for the neck with different size ball joints. If you want to use like some Megami device or frame arms or a Figma head on these, you can swap those out by just using a different neck piece with a different size ball joint. 
But anyway guys, we'll get into a little bit of posing here. We'll try out some of the different option parts and obviously that's going to be the main thing with this line. Like a lot of what Kurbukia does, it's really reliant on just having a lot of option parts available and you do have a pretty good amount of what's in the box. I do wish that they would have given us some different accessories from the first release instead of the main accessories being like the bag and the cell phone. Those are pretty standard like for high school girl. Those are obviously the things that kind of make the most sense but it would have been nice to get some other options. That said there are of course other different option sets available in this line and then of course you can combine this by mixing and matching parts with other different Kodobukiya things. Basically anything that's 112 scale should be pretty compatible so I know that Hasegawa does make more uh, 112 scale things as well. Stuff like desks, benches, different things like that that you could use for making displays and or dioramas or just sets, little stuff like that that you can use with these. But this is a really great kit and the option of the forward bending body and the upward bending neck are really nice options to have there as well. Those do give you some new ways that you can pose the kit that were definitely more difficult to do before in the previous version. So with that and then obviously the compatibility between the faces and the hair parts and stuff from the other releases in the line gives you a ton of options and so really great line. I am really enjoying it a lot. But what do you guys think about this line so far? Is there anything in the future that you're looking forward to them making? Whether it be something that's already been announced or just some other idea that you might like to see in future sets? Let me know down in the comment section below what kind of accessories would you like to see made for these for this line of kits. But if you're interested in purchasing some of the already released ones, you can check them out at USA Gundam Store. We've got these and everything else from Kotobukiya on the website. I'll put the link in the video description down below so you guys can go and check that out. I highly recommend the kits. They're a lot of fun. But as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video today. If you liked to like, comment, or subscribe as well. That would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.